everyone we're going back into Lazarus and this time let's see what we're looking at shall we that was a very quick start so today we're looking at 4.0 RC2 and yep that's what we're looking at RC2 a couple of days ago there was a new release candidate put out um, uh, so there was RC1 and I removed that put on RC2 here and uh, let's see what's okay, that's a bit okay here we go we've got some help stuff here don't really care for that at the moment um, but uh, looks nice Okay, so uh, we'll close that down and hang on, do you want to close? Do you, can I, uh, do you want to close? Yes, I do want to close it. So, um, where shall we start here? So, over here um, on the Free Pascal Lazarus forums here, there is um, information about the. Uh, Uh, new version here and we can download it from uh, I just use the release you know so I could just install it I'm not building it from scratch I don't think um, you, there are three packages and uh, if we can I can show you what they are in a moment uh, so you basically have the Lazarus project the FPC LAS, the FPC source, and you know the um, the page that you go to. It will tell you what the order is, but let's just go there for the sake of um, completeness, shall we? Okay, so we went into no, not that one. We went to that one. And from there we go into here and okay so you do the uh, compiler first then the FPC source and then Lazarus I knew the Lazarus one was last but um, so once they're downloaded they're Debian packages and they're rel they're very easy to install themselves so yeah and here it is so Normally, that normally I am working in a. Um, uh, I've been doing it with my tutorial, not tutorial, with my videos. I have been mainly doing some command line stuff, so we're going to have to work out now how I can get back to my other desktop. Oh, geez. Um, I think my old one got knocked out. Let's try that one. No, hit cancel. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, let me see. If we can get some of these things back, shall we? Object inspector. No. Okay, we'll have to drag that in somehow. Can I? A few moments later. Okay, here we go. So this is what I was hoping for. Okay, so uh, yep, that will be fine. I'm gonna, I guess. Um, leave that as default. Leave that. Leave that. Leave that. I think. Okay, we're back to normal again. Okay, so I can get rid of that um, backup folder, but I'll do that a bit later. And here we've got a form. Cool. So we're back to normal. Whew, good start. So we're going to see if we can build a very small application. So what could we build? Okay, so why don't we make, look, we'll make that a bit bigger for a start. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to need a button of some sort to do something, of, you know. Um, in my head, I've just got 
a you know some sort of conversion actually you know what my son asked me last night about um, he was given a cup for Christmas and he wanted to know um, how many ounces or how many mils were in you know a number of ounces so we're going to do a conversion program here uh, so let's go to here and we're going to say let's put a label here number um, okay let's make that bigger shall we so we can now we want to give this a name so we'll call this one here um, label um, label ounces I hope that's how you spell it and here we want to call this one now um, label um, M MLS okay mills so let's make sure we can move these around on the form they move okay and I didn't want to that's not no, that's the name but we're going to change the caption here to uh, number of mills mm. Um, number of mills now I don't even know what the ratio is for um, this so um, we're going to have to put that let's put that button there and we're gonna make that to be let's say there it's not the prettiest form but hey it's going to be functional that's the main thing isn't it people so um, convert um, OZ to uh, mil. No, twenty eight mils per ounce. Okay, let me just move that out of the way here and. You know what? I am seriously impressed with the speed of this. Um, okay, so let's do here. Mills equals, and um, what did it say? 29.6 per ounce. Okay. Um, well, quick uh, so let's go for the text value okay. uh, now we want that to be uh, to let's make that and a double shall we um, and Shift C, okay, Control Shift and C gives me a variable that's with no problems at all. And now let's just do edit two. Save this one. Okay, so I want me to save the project first. So we're going to call this one here um, yeah, <laughs> converter. Whoops, okay. Hang on, let's go to there.
let's give our form a proper name, shall we? Um, okay, form, form, name. Um, we'll give it a caption. Um, ML. How's this starting to stack up? Okay. Uh, let's give this a proper name. Um, convert. Okay. Whoops. Hang, ooh, hang on. I didn't want to do that. Um, let's go back to there. Uh, let's select both of these ones and let's drag oh how do you drag now if you're gonna do that there we go that's better okay actually that probably better name to convert uh, to ml okay we're getting there and that's a bit long we need to make that a bit longer. Let's make that. Okay, I wonder if we can, let's see if we can, let's make this into a dialogue. Uh, default one, what we can do with color. Um, seal window. How's that gonna look? Meh, that's okay. What font is that now? Font. Default, default. Yeah, well, we're not gonna change it too much, so. Um, looking okay. Let's get rid of that. Um, now. Um, we should make sure that it gets positioned in the middle of the screen. Uh, position. Uh, now I've got two screens here, so which ones are going to go to? Uh, Desco for screen center. Okay, we can always fix it up anyway, it's only me. Um, yeah, okay, so, we're not gonna, let's just run this bad boy and see what happens, okay, choose debug, okay, we'll leave that as is, compiling, converter 1, oh, what's wrong with that, illegal qualifier, hmm, um, Why? Okay, well, let's try. MLS equals 5.12 dot. Okay, let's go here equals um, 4.2 and we'll go edit. Well, actually, I'll tell you what I do need. Um, S equals um, 3.1 can you hope you can see this okay people because um, I haven't put in because I took away the old version of um, oh I've actually knocked out all my configuration files I would have knocked away my key that I had created like um, after zooming in, so uh, anyway, let's just go here. Um, equals s dot. Hang on, let's go. Yeah, s dot two double. Well, that worked. Okay, so what if we do uh, um, s equals? We'll meet go to there. 
left it there. And let's see if this will work then. Uh, is that okay? Is it running? Compiling, linking. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Now, he had 31 ounces in this cup. Someone gave my big one. 917 mils. Okay, well, there you go. Um, let's... A converter. It compiled, it built. It doesn't look half bad, actually. Let's see how long it takes to build it. Ooh, hang on. Execution stopped. Don't show that message again. So what have we got here? I can see my um, code explorer here. My components are over here. Let's go back to the website, uh, Lazarus, and let's just see what they said here. Okay. Please test if you can edit forms in the designer. I think that's a check. Rename components, change properties in the object inspector, check. Add new events. Well, I put an event in there for the button click. Um, add components to a form. Well, I had to do that. I also moved components. Um, the frames. I, well, I'm not using any frames. I can guarantee the auto completion works. Compile, build, and run does work. Anything else I use in my daily work. If you can navigate the source code, jump to implementation. So let's go here. Let's go to here. That all worked okay, and I know the code completion worked, so that's a bonus. It is a little bit odd, though. I'm going to say, one double. Okay, MLS, let's just do this and try something here again. Equals dot. Now, let's do that. Now, let's hit that one, and let's see if it builds again. We're not going to build it this time. Maybe... That's interesting. Okay, people, uh, t riddle me this. So we're at this point here. I'm going to put a dot in here, see what I can do with it. We'll wait, and that pops open. I can select that, sweet. But then when I go and build it, it don't work um, with that error here. The error that we're getting is um, compile project, exit code one, errors one, error, illegal qualifier. But if I do it with a string, it's perfectly fine. So over to you people. Um, let me know what I did wrong. But in the meantime, um, what we're going to do is this way here, because this way here will work. So. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's what we didn't look at. Where my form, okay, form screen center, that works as well. So I'm happy with that. As a small little test, it functions, it does well. I'm curious as to why I have a problem with the um, edit text. Should I need to? I shouldn't have to. I'm just going to try something else out here. Equals... Uh, String First look, we'll give it another look another day and see what damage we can do in um, RC2. Until next time, happy coding and I'll see you then. Bye.